CE Holiday Trans, Netflix streaming gets easier, Apple's Back to the Mac does not disappoint, 3D glasses get optimized, and new Petra sales flyers. I'm Kaylee Mosco with Petra Industries, and it's time for the Petra 5 and 5. Five hot electronics news stories to make you look like an industry whiz. Looking for clues about the hottest holiday CE sales trends? According to the 17th Annual CE Holiday Purchase Pattern Study conducted by the Consumer Electronics Association, consumers are planning to allocate more gift spending this holiday season towards CE products than ever before. On average, consumers will spend $232 on CE gifts, up 5% from $222 last year, with 32% of shoppers beginning their buying in November and 27% in December. Key drivers for consumers include pricing, which is most important at 84%, return policy at 81%, ease of purchase at 79%, and past experience at 78%. So now for the big question, what are consumers looking for? Well, video game consoles came in at number one at 24%, followed by MP3 players at 22%, notebooks and laptops at 21%, DVD or Blu-ray players at 19%, and smartphones at 17%. Surprising in the survey was that TVs didn't even rank in the top five, coming in at sixth at 16%, whereas they have been a popular category in recent years. The top five electronics accessories in order included video game accessories, memory cards and carrying cases, which tied, headphones and earbuds, PC accessories, and MP3 speaker docks, which also tied. You can check out the full survey results at twice.com, and as you know, Petra is your accessory source, so be sure to check out and stock up on the hottest holiday gifts in time for prime shopping season at www.petra.com. Netflix streaming for Wii and PS3 is catching up with the Xbox, finally losing the need for a disc. Netflix for Wii will be available for $8.99 through the Wii Shop channel, and PS3 will also stream direct, in Dolby 5.1 sound no less, as we discussed last week. This development comes as news is released that Netflix is now primarily a streaming company, with streaming quantity eclipsing physical disc rental, pushing them to consider a purely streamed option. Quoted in their Q3 SEC filing as saying, quote, our success with our pure streaming offering in Canada at $7.99 has encouraged us to test this model in the USA. If our results are as strong as they think we will be, then we will look to start offering in the USA, and DVD will be offered as a supplement for an additional charge, like we offer Blu-ray today. We'll know by the holiday season if consumers would prefer this more streaming-centric approach." End quote. It's about time! Once again, Apple did not disappoint this time at their Back to the Mac keynote event in San Francisco held this past Wednesday, where they had a bevy of product unveilings and improvements, including the newest version of the super slim MacBook Air, the latest Mac OS dubbed Lion, as well as a new app store for the Mac. What, what? Let's start with a new MacBook Air, which Steve Jobs described as if a MacBook and an iPad hooked up. Available in 11.6 inches and 13 inch sizes with either 64 gigabytes or 128 gigabytes of flash storage, the new Airs are thinner than the original, while somehow maintaining the room for a full-size keyboard, multi-touch trackpad, Core 2 Duo processor, and FaceTime camera. Speaking of the FaceTime camera, you caught that, right? The new Mac OS X 10.7, aka Lion, which makes its debut next summer, brings FaceTime calling to Macs, even allowing Mac to iPhone calling. Lion also incorporates several other features of the mobile iOS found on the iPad and the latest iPhones, including a Mac App Store, which will launch in 90 days, as well as a feature called Mission Control, which makes desktop application look like apps on the iPhone or iPad. Also announced at the Back to the Mac were the new versions of iLife, iPhoto, and iMovie. Great news for 3D lovers who are also cursed with terrible vision. I know it made my day. Samsung has announced that they will offer prescription 3D glasses for users who typically wear corrective lenses, removing the need to stack 3D glasses over normal glasses, or, here's a thought, the need to wear contacts to the theater. Samsung is working with optometrists to build 3D glasses with prescription lenses, and sources vary on the details, some claiming they'll be kind of like drugstore reading glasses where they'll be mass-produced in common prescriptions, others claiming they'll be custom-made with a one-week waiting period. Pricing is not yet available, but it's safe to assume they'll be higher than normal 3D glasses. Petra makes it easy for you to find our hottest deals, latest specials, and top new items with our online sales flyers. We've just added two new flyers to the Petra website, and we know that you'll want to check them out now. Sales Flyer 410 is packed full of hot Black Friday deals from Dual, Optima, Universal Remote, and more. Appliance Flyer 310 introduces certified appliance accessories, as well as including a great selection from Monster Trucks, Dormont, and Taylor. 
Check out these great flyers along with many more, our current email blast, and the new fall catalog at petra.com slash current dash email. That's your Petra 5 and 5. Have a great week and we'll catch up with you next time with more hot industry news.